Baghdadi said to the Americans, see you in New York, uh, which they thought, what is he talking about? Because of course they had no idea who he was. This is the only moving picture that exists of him. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the mysterious leader of the Islamic State. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Al-Baghdadi ma dhahar ghair marra wahda al alam wa ba'd ikhtafa. For his followers, he is the long-awaited successor to the Prophet, al-Baghdadi, leader of a holy war in the Caliphate with two faces. That is one of the things that we also saw with the Taliban in Afghanistan. They have a telephone number, they have a Twitter account. You can reach them. Sinja, in northern Iraq, has only recently been recaptured from IS. In the last year, the troops of IS Caliph al-Baghdadi dug defense tunnels throughout the city, just as they have now done in Raqqa, the capital of the Caliphate. There's no longer much left of the city itself. After a long struggle, Sinja is one of the first major cities that IS has had to give up. After their retreat, the horrendous consequences of their reign of terror became clear. Mass open graves filled with bodies, the remains of anyone who did not share their beliefs. The terrorists of al-Baghdadi have expanded the battleground of the Caliphate into Europe. Who is driving this war and how should we respond to terror? Loretta Napoleoni is an expert in the field of terrorist organizations and author of the book the return of the caliphate. Al-Baghdadi wants to be portrayed as the religious leader um, of this new nation. But unlike uh, somebody like Khomeini, for example, he doesn't want to show his face all the time. Uh, on the contrary, he's clearly against the cult of the personality. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره. Al Baghdadi wants to be an invisible leader. For his followers, this only increases his appeal. Baghdadi uh, claims to be blood related to the Prophet, so he will be the bloodline of the Prophet. But this is something that many people say, so I doubt it. But that is it we important for his followers? Oh yes, of course, I think it's important for his legitimacy, of course. Uh, um, this will give him a tremendous, tremendous legitimacy to people that believe it. I think it's part of the strategy. I think uh, that um, the, the less you know about uh, one of the icons, because he is an icon, the more you believe that this icon is exactly as you want it to be. Al-Baghdadi has become one of the world's most prominent fundamentalist leaders, even bigger than bin Laden. Declaring a religious caliphate is seen as a tactical masterstroke, creating a country with the genuine capital, Raqqa, and capturing the imagination of followers worldwide. The caliphate is uh, the most important thing for al-Baghdadi and for anybody. Why is it so exceptional? For Al-Qaeda, the caliphate was the end of the road. So we will fight the faraway enemy, then we will um, move to the near enemy, and then we'll build the caliphate. Here, the caliphate is the beginning of the story. So the caliphate becomes a, a weapon for the jihad. We start from the caliphate, and then the caliphate will carry on the jihad. This is Hani, born and raised in Raqqa. This summer, he fled from the capital of the Caliphate. He could no longer stay in his hometown after IS took hold. Bim sabag kulil Medina bilon al-Aswad, 
بالإضافة أنه النساء صارت يعني عبارة عن كتل سوداء تمشي بالشارع يعني لدرجة أنه أنا ممكن أشوف أحد زوجتي أشوف والدتي ماشي بالشارع أنا ما أعرف أنه هي والدتي جلد بالشوارع للنساء والرجال حالات رجم للنساء حالات رمي من أبنية عالية لبعض الأحكام اللي حكموا الناس فيها Violence, it's always fundamental for terrorism. I mean, terrorism uses violence to terrorize people. The, the more scared you are, the more you think your enemy is strong. It is not only in Raqqa that the lives of citizens are in danger. Even outside the caliphate of al-Baghdadi, its opponents are being threatened. In Germany, where most of the Syrian refugees have sought refuge, we meet Ahmed, who has just escaped from Raqqa. When it happens to the church, every person has to be in the church, or if you don't go to the church, you want to change. All the rules, I mean, like the people who think about it, we have to think about it. And this is what we are trying to do. So, I mean, Ahmed is of the same faith as IS, but he opposes their methods. When he was called upon to fight, he went into hiding. This earned him a death sentence, which was sent to his parents. If you want to survive in the caliphate, there is only one choice. Join the jihad. Interestingly enough, the American invasion of Iraq fueled the idea of a holy war. Al-Baghdadi was captured by the Americans and held for five years at Camp Bukha, a hotbed of jihadists and the scene of regular violent riots. In Camp Bukha, uh, he was in prison uh, together with some of the high-ranking uh, former officers uh, of Saddam Hussein, army and intelligence. So he made a lot of connections. I suspect that in Camp Bukha, there were endless discussions about what to do, how to structure this new state. Of course, when all would be free again. And I think during this process, uh, a decision was uh, taken that al-Baghdadi was the perfect uh, leader in terms of um, being a sort of icon. So he had the perfect, uh, let's say, background to be presented as the new caliph. Мы будем искать их везде, где бы они ни прятались. Мы их найдем в любой точке планеты и покараем. Since the terror in Paris, Raqqa, the capital of the Caliphate, has been the main target of French and Russian bombs. Hello. Hello. Salam. Salam. Hey, hey, tamam. Hani is praying for the defeat of IS, but at the same time he is worried about his family and friends in Raqqa. طبعا أنا لا يعني زايدت صعب ودرفضت صعب إنه أنا بدي بدي أي أي طريقة تخلصني من هذا المرض أنا وكم أنا ومجموعتي اللي أعمل معها إذا أيت ممكن يصاب مدنيين في أحد عمليات القصف هذا الموضوع كثير صعب علينا لأنه لخسرناك كبير وما نحن مستعدين نخسر كمان من أهلنا. In the northern Iraqi town of Sinjar, some residents are daring to return to their homes or what is left of them. But most are staying away because IS forces are still less than two kilometers away from the city. Precautionary roadblocks are being constructed everywhere. After Paris, IS has become the epitome of evil for many people. However, beyond the widespread fear, there are those trying to find solutions to the suffering. 
Dutchman Jeffrey Yonkers is involved in negotiations with the Caliphate on behalf of a British aid organisation. In het westen is het beeld van IS vooral de organisatie die dood en verderf zaait. Kun je daarmee onderhandelen? ISIS zijn moordenaars, een schuwelijke organisatie en dat, dat is ook altijd heel erg aanwezig in onze gedachten. Dit is een organisatie waar je niet mee moet willen praten. Dit zijn mensen waar je eigenlijk niet mee aan tafel moet willen zitten. Maar als je een verzoek krijgt van Syrische burgers die op dat moment vrezen voor het leven van één of vele van ze, zou het wel heel erg arrogant zijn om dan te zeggen nee, wij kunnen niet praten met een terroristische organisatie. Dan moet je ook gewoon eerlijk zijn en zeggen, je moet die mensen helpen. Thanks to the negotiations with IS, Jonk has recently succeeded in providing protection for a group of Christians. It also appears the caliphate has a pragmatic side. Op een gegeven moment had IS besloten dat ze toch weg moesten. En die onderhandelingen hebben toegeleid dat ze er nu nog steeds zitten en dat ze ook uh, hun landbouwproducten kunnen verkopen op de markt. Dus als er, als er een gemeenschap is goed in het produceren van voedsel, dan is dat een pragmatische reden voor andere gemeenschappen, die misschien ISIS zijn, om te zeggen, laat ze maar blijven. We hebben ze nodig. We hebben ze nodig. In the meantime, the bombing continues. It has been a while since anything has been heard from the kalif al-Baghdadi. Perhaps he is dead. Nobody knows. Maybe it doesn't matter. Merkt u bij uw onderhandelingen dat al-Baghdadi, de grote leider, ook een rol speelt in het dagelijks leven? Nee, mensen hebben het niet echt over hem. En zeker hè, mensen die niet in Raqqa wonen, maar gewoon wat verder in de normale Syrische steden en dorpen. Hij is voor hun geen, geen leider. Hij is niet iemand waar, waar ze iets mee hebben. Er is geen band daarmee. Please take your luggage out. It's an awkward situation for all of us. Um, what we're going to do now is the one bag's already off, the second bag's going to be... IS wants death and destruction, but also to sow fear, and they seem to be succeeding. This plane is forced to abandon takeoff because of two passengers behaving suspiciously. It is eventually declared a false alarm, but the incident is a small example of the fear that reigns here. Ook uh, waarschijnlijk de komende weken Ge ziet IS als een grote moloch, als 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 één, als één groot onvoorspelbaar blok. En die moet je plat bombarderen. En dat is levensgevaarlijk, zegt u. En dat is levensgevaarlijk. Je, omdat het geen zin heeft. Een ideologie kun je niet bombarderen. En als je probeert een ideologie te bombarderen, is het allergrootste risico en het meest waarschijnlijke risico dat je die ideologie versterkt. Even als we kill al-Baghdadi, dan be een nieuwe kalif. Al-Baghdadi is niet de nation. Al-Baghdadi is de icon van de nation. Dit zijn symbolen. Um, there will be new symbols. There will be new symbols. There will be somebody, there will be the new caliph. New al-Baghdadis. Exactly. <laughs>